Um, for both of you fellas, uh, you've got um, Sam Whitelock that you're, you're keeping out of the team for this particular match, but he's going to win his 148th cap. Can you just say something about him and uh, the kind of player and teammate that he is? Yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah. Sam's obviously bringing up a huge milestone and uh, something that's sort of never been done um, in the All Black jersey, and it's um, been a huge uh, honour and privilege to play alongside him uh, throughout my career. And um, yeah, I'm sure when he gets out there tonight, he'll uh, do what he does every time he puts on the jersey. And um, yeah, that's play tough, uh, tough rugby like he does. So he'll he'll be looking forward to that. Yeah, and I'll uh, just reiterate what Scooter said. I think, um, yeah, it's obviously his 149th um, game, and to do that from a physical and from a mental side, to be able to turn up each week and prepare and tr play the way that he does is um, a testament, a real testament to him. And, and obviously, no one's done it in the jersey before, so um, he stands alone there. Um, Brody, what's it like? You've played a lot of test matches. Um, New Zealand never lost to the All Blacks. Does that kind of add a little bit of spice to this match? Just that that fear of failure, fear of becoming the first team to do something? Um, no, nah, not at all. I think it's a World Cup, you know. Um, obviously, with not getting the result against France in the in the opening pool game, then we need to win all three to be in control of where we want to be so um, you know we've talked about before we even left New Zealand that World Cup's a difference and yeah there's the added pressure of, of playing in Lear with you know the way the result needs to go for us and, and for them so that's what World Cups are all about and um, that's why we play the game to be in these big test matches. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Greg, I think you played in the 1999 World Cup where the All Blacks won 101-3. Having, you know, um, watched them through the Six Nations in your time with Ireland, how have Italy improved over the you know, last 20 odd years? Um, I think that the way they played the game, they've got a style that is very attacking. Um, you know, they want to they want to pressure teams um, and hold on to the ball really well. Um, they, they've got some dangerous players out wide. Um, tactically, the they seem very good, well coached, but one thing that hasn't changed is, um, you know, their forward pack's always been niggly, and that's one one thing I remember about that game was, yeah, you still remember that you played against them, you still felt it, um, and I know um, that will that won't change um, tomorrow. Brody, just back on Sam, from your personal perspective, you played obviously a lot with him. How much has has he helped you grow your game and develop? your game into, into the play you are today. Um, I know you only came in a couple of years after him, but yeah, how much is, has your game benefited from, from having Sam around? Yeah, I think the, the biggest impact he uh, has had was, you know, he was you know, the number one lock and had been in the All Blacks established before I was, and it was just a competition to keep getting better and to get to his level, and you know, he's... He has done that for so long, which is obviously the massive achievement he's about to get. And you know, I think just by doing that and having the competition to even uh, this week, you know, even though he was named on the bench, he's still pushing everybody around the field and, and trying to outdo um, everyone. So, yeah, I think uh, obviously playing a lot of test matches has been special, but the competitiveness he has um, throughout the training week, week in, week out, has uh, been the biggest benefit. Thanks, Shat. In the back, in the white shirt. Hi, good, good, good afternoon. Question to Brody and uh, Scott. How important will be, in your opinion, the first 20, 30 minutes in order maybe to not close the match, but put a stamp on that and avoid to have Italy on the back until 60 minutes or 65 minutes? Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, the, the start of this test match is going to be uh, yeah, very, very important. Um, I think probably the, the way uh, Italy have been playing, they, they sort of hang on in games and they are willing to grind away and um, I guess push themselves for their 80 minutes. So yeah, the first 20 is definitely 
uh, going to be intense and um, physical and everything that a World Cup, um, you know, pool deciding match uh, should have. Yeah, I think you know, what um, Scott said, I think I don't see them, you know, to last 20 or 30 minutes, it could take 70, whatever it, whatever it takes. It's a test match with a lot on the line. So I think as we've as we previewed and talked about here, they're playing some very attacking footy um, when they get their systems right. So, you know, we need to be on for the full 80. Yeah. Greg, everybody speaks about Italy's speed, but how big a challenge is their pack, their forwards? All in all, in the 80 minutes. Yes, um, you know they've even gone for a, um, a six-two split. So they've, they've really stacked it up, and their bench looks really strong. Um, I think we're prepared. We're, we're prepared as best we can. Um, I think for what's coming, and we know um, the first 20 minutes. I think there'll be a it'll be a good matchup. It'll be a physical contest as as usual, and I think. Uh, there's a, there's a couple of guys in there. Uh, I think Hami is a hook on the bench that some of our boys know. Um, so there's a little bit of, you know, understanding how some of the boys work too. So that's it's going to make it really uh, interesting from my point of view, anyway. Yeah, great, great. Um, just before, obviously, the opening game, you had um, Sam Kane um, pull out after the captain's run, and you got a couple of injured guys coming back. Just wanted to check everyone. Came through unscathed today, and everyone's uh, sort of good to go tomorrow. Uh, yep, everything's good. We're tracking nicely. Yep. And um, Jason Ryan earlier the week just talked about the the need to sort of lay down a, a marker for the forwards. Just obviously with your expertise, what's your assessment of how the four packs travelling, and for the way this team wants to play, how important is it to to lay that dominant platform? I think the best way um, to judge that for us is is within our own camp. And when you see the boys get up from set piece um, with their eyes only popping out of their heads and really looking at each other and thinking now, you know, that that's what we need. And so that's that's one part of it. Um, but, yeah, tomorrow's the, the true test of where we're at. I think um, Italy will provide um, uh, a standard that we need to raise to and bring our standard, which is probably where we stand to the most. Yeah. Um, I guess, Scott, the, the All Blacks have talked lots about Lyon being a home base, how welcoming everyone is. You finally get to play a game here. Uh, how special will it be to play in front of a Lyon crowd? Yeah, no, the stadium here is uh, yeah, pretty pretty awesome, spectacular, and I think um, yeah, Lyon's been a great base so far for us, and uh, the people uh, we've been around have been uh, very welcoming. So, yeah, hopefully there's a few more black jerseys than uh, blue. So, yeah. Yeah, it's just one round for Thanks. Hey, Brody. Um, in your experience, and you've obviously played a lot of big test matches, when you're playing a team like Italy, who obviously have a lot of passion, have a danger element about them, um, have a lot to play for in this instance, what, what are the key things um, from the All Blacks' perspective, what are the key things you've got to take care of when that first whistle goes? <coughs> Yeah, I think firstly you can't be distracted by what what um, the Italians may or may not bring. Like we have obviously previewed them and understand like a bit of their structure and, and how they want to play the game. But from our point of view, it's it's nailing the moment. You know, from the get go, like we said, the the start is going to be massively important to swing the momentum either way. But I think you know we can only concentrate on doing our job the best we can, and then just trusting your teammate beside you, left or right, you to do that. So if we do that together as a, the 15 on the field, um, then hopefully we'll get the start that we're after. The back on the left. Yeah, thanks. Greg, um, Matthew Carley is the, the referee again tomorrow. You had him for that warm-up game against South Africa and obviously had a bit of trouble adjusting to some of those interpretations early on. Have you spoken about that this week and, and what you need to tidy up? Yeah, it was um, good learning for us, and I think um, teams are adapting, we're adapting, um, and it was a good reminder that um, at test match level there's certain pictures that referees look for, um, that, and, that, and that makes it actually better for us, and hopefully as a spectacle, 
it'll benefit us and the referees. So um, yeah, we've got to take it upon ourselves first to um, to do things technically spot on. Any further questions? Just one here. Um, Brody, it looks like you've shaved your moustache off for this match. Is, is there a reason behind that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually shaved it off last week uh, when we didn't have a game, but yeah, the only reason is because I don't have any clippers to trim it and I didn't trust anyone else's, so I just shaved it off. 